Hey there YouTube, it's Landon with Order the Traveling Hats and today we've got another Jeep upgrade video for you. We've been thinking about, Gabe and I, how best to use the beds on our gladiators and how to organize them for camping, overlanding, and just some longer trips that we want to be able to do. There's a lot of really good options out there. I've looked at Alucab, RLD Designs, um, uh, Smart Caps, ARE, uh, Lear. They all make really good caps, but they're all really heavy. They all weigh in excess of 200 pounds. That's 200 pounds of gear and stuff that you can't carry without getting closer to your max gross weight and maxing out your suspension, which is gonna adversely affect your handling characteristics. So I still wanted to be able to use a rack. I still wanted to have a top and a dry place to store my gear to keep it out of the elements and to kind of secure it. So what we came up with is a best top, a uh, super top for trucks. It looked like a really good product. I went ahead and ordered one. I've got it here today. We're gonna unbox it and see what it looks like um, and then get it on the Jeep. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. Um, this got shipped this way direct from Best Top in a big old box. It's beat up a little bit, but I think the packing's probably gonna be pretty good, so we're gonna open it. We're gonna kinda see what that looks like. We kinda had to tape it up a little over here. Um, gotta say, I was not super happy with Best Top in a way. Um, you know, they, their website didn't update very well and it was a thing where it kept saying that it was awaiting fulfillment, awaiting fulfillment. I called them, they assured me it was about to ship and all of a sudden it just arrived and I didn't have a tracking number or anything. A minor thing, but still kind of annoying, especially from a company as big as Best Top. I kind of expected a little bit more. So here we go, open this thing up. That go back so these are the tracks for the bed looks like so one there's two of them in there looks like and then there's another one so that's all four of those and then there's the bows looks like here so that's pretty good one set, that's the other set for the other side, and then there's some hardware here that we'll go through, it looks like the instructions are in there as well, we'll go through those in a minute. And then under all of that is the actual top. Now I got the black diamond, I didn't get the twill, the upgraded fat one. And you know, the reason I didn't get that was it was $500 more for one. And this isn't a top where I'm actually gonna be sitting inside of it. So it's not a top that's going on a Jeep cab. It's for a bed. And I really just needed something that would keep the water out. And it's still got, I think a five year warranty on it. So that's pretty good. And I figured that I could save the money and put the money somewhere else in the build and this would be good enough for what I needed. So that's what I decided to do. We're gonna take this and put it out kind of in the sun so it can kind of expand. That's something that I think you need to do uh, just so it'll go over the, the bows a little bit easier. And that's a end for the door in front of the back. Um, it's got a tinted window on it, so that's pretty nice. So you can't just see in the bed, I like that. Overall, I gotta say the build quality on this thing is excellent as you would expect from Best Top. They do make an excellent product. All the stitching is just spot on. Um, the fabric is very heavy. By no means is this a cheap fabric. I think it's still a sailcloth fabric that's coated with a vinyl to be waterproof. And uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty heavy, pretty thick. The zippers are nice, big kind of uh, YKK zippers. They're plastic, but they're really heavy. I think they're gonna last forever. And 
overall pretty happy with the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put out in the sun so it can expand a little bit so it'll be easier to get it on the Jeep. And then we're going to get started assembling the bows. We're going to back the Jeep up over here, read the instructions and do all of those things. So I'll be right back on camera. So this is the bag of hardware that came with the kit. We're going to open this now and get it out and kind of go through it. Open that. So we've got clamps here for the bed. Um, these are C-clamps that will go together. There should be about four sets of those, I think. More than four, looks like. I don't know. There's these guys. Uh, I think these connect the bows together. They've got little push buttons on them to kind of snap together. So I think that'll connect the frame. There's uh, four of those as well. So you can kind of see those. Um, there's some hardware here with bolts and looks like T-slot nuts for uh, the rail system. One more of these. And the baggie can go in the trash. They've got a best top add state connected card um, with an ad on the back. Don't really need that. And then we've got the instructions. These are the uh, installation instructions for the super top for trucks. Um, I think you can probably see that. It says it'll take about two hours. It says we're going to need a one quarter inch Allen wrench, a torque wrench, a ratchet, a 916 socket, or wrench, and a tape measure and some safety glasses. They say it's a three moderate difficulty, although I don't really think this is going to be that difficult. Um, we're supposed to have four lower clamps and four lower clamps small and four upper clamps. So these are the lower clamps I'm guessing and there's a big and a small here and here. And then, so for these, yeah, there's the fourth one. And four of these and four of these. So now we should have all those kind of laid out. So we got four. So yeah, we should have all four of these laid out pretty good so you can see all of those in the frame really well. Um, they're black. They're very well made. They're uh, aluminum, but they're, they look like they're powder coated um, or anodized. They they're, seem to be really well finished. I'm pretty impressed with that. Then we've got our four um, bow couplers that we already talked about. Um, they're different actually. So there's something different about them. Uh, they've got snaps on some of them and snaps on not on the other so these have a snap here and then this one does not have a snap so those are going to go in different locations then in our hardware we've got these t-nuts to fasten to a bed rail system we've got four bolts to kind of go through the c-clamps and then we've got fasteners to fasten those as well so we've got four of those so that's all the hardware. The hardware looks like it's complete. Now we're going to kind of go through the rest of the instructions real quick and just look at them. Um, there's a lot of instructions here. Uh, the first step, it says we need to get our front rails. And the rear rail, it goes through the rest of the parts. We've already looked at those over there. They're on the floor. Um, so here's the first set of instructions. So it wants us to put the front rails on first and then the side rails. 
and then it wants us to put the C-clamps on, clamp those together. It says the upper clamp should be located seven and a half inches from the front edge and ten inches from the rear edge of the side rail. So we're going to need a tape measure for that, uh, just to kind of get everything anchored down good. Um, then kind of goes through. It's got really good pictures and tells you exactly where everything goes. So it looks like these instructions are going to be pretty good compared to, say, the Mopar instructions that were for the hitch, where that that was not the best instructions in the world. Um, these look like they're going to be better. I think you know they're pretty reasonable. Uh, they give you step by step, both in pictures and with words. Each page tells you what tools you're going to need for that step. So we just kind of look through this, and I, and I think. Um, we'll probably read this off camera for a second and then we'll get started, but it looks like overall the instructions are, are really quite good. So I'm going to do that, read through this real quick, and then we're going to pull the Jeep in here so we can get started putting this together. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got the Jeep in and we're going to get started with putting on the uh, rails. I think the first step to do is put on the front rail and the rear rail and kind of get those where we want them and then put the side rails on and kind of start clamping it down. So we're going to get started with that. That seems to be the first part of the instructions. I have a rail system, although it's not the factory Mopar rail system. It's kind of a homemade one that I made with some Unistrut. I think it will be compatible, but we're going to check that out and see and I'll show you that. Hopefully it is. Um, I think it's going to be. And if it is, we're going to use that. If not, we'll use the regular C-clamps that just clamp onto the uh, bed rail. I think either way we'll be more than secure enough to mount the top to the bed in a way that it won't come off while we're going down the road, which would be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that, and I'll show you guys how that works. So let me show you what we got here. I've got the rails kind of in place just to lay them out and see where they're going to go. It's kind of interesting. The uh, rail on the side kind of I think is going to end up being flush with the inside of the bed. You can see that there. However, it's going to have a gap on the outside of the bed rail a little bit, which is fine. I think, you know, when we get the um, top on it won't be very much of a gap it'll kind of almost shingle down onto it to help keep water intrusion out i think that's going to work out well i've got the tailgate down right now just to kind of help get us in the bed if we need to but i think this is going to close just against it and if you look on the back there's this nice rubber gasket here that's like a flapper almost like a squeegee that's going to interface with the top of the tailgate and that's going to help <clears throat> keep water out and seal on the back. Additionally, there's a fairly large uh, rubber piece on the top here that's going to help to seal the uh, front and prevent water intrusion on the front. I think there's also kind of a flap on the front that's going to help with the top, but I'm not sure. So that's how that looks. So, the thing about this is, is this is your bracket. It's got a hole made here, right here. And your bolt goes through that hole into the hole on the other side. So you can access it with an Allen wrench and you can get it to go through and secure to this. So we're going to get that and we got to get that kind of secured where we want it before we can put the other bolt in, which is this bolt that's going to go vertically into here and hold the clamp down. I think 
jets clamped and we can still move it a little bit. So that's how that goes. So the trick here is to not get the Unistrut tightened completely. Um, I'm going to have to use these Unistrut mounts because with this rail installed you can't use the other bed mounts, but that's okay. Um, really not a problem. It seems to work pretty well still. It's clamped well and uh, it's secure. There's actually a channel that this top clamp rides in. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. And the top clamp has kind of a foot on it that grips into that rail so it can't go sideways. It's, it's solid that way. So, so we're gonna mount the front now. It's gonna go seven and a half inches from the front of the bed, which is right about here. So we're gonna get our pieces and mount that. Okay guys, so I have the rail system mounted now. It's secure, so now we've got to start assembling the bows. I think that's the next step, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so you've got a pin here, and then you've got another pin right over here. And that's what the system's gonna come down on. This one unlocks and this one's kind of more permanent. It's gonna go on kind of this way. Not that it's that heavy, it's just super awkward. so like it or not so okay so what you got is you've got a pull pin here that locks this lever into place on it it can't go anywhere it's secure this rides in the rail up here and can slide back and forth for when you fold the the lid or the the cap down and then it locks onto this pin here, although it's just kind of held in place by gravity, but it's pretty secure. It doesn't seem to really be able to go anywhere because this is locked. So we're going to try that. That's what the instructions say to do, and that's the only way it seems to go on. So now we're going to try to get the top on. All right, so now all we got to do is get the top on and put into place, and that just kind of gets up there and that's what it does. Well that about wraps it up for the install. We're finished. I'm going to walk you around the Jeep and show you kind of how this thing went on and some areas that I hope will improve with time after it has time to kind of equilibrate. It was really, really tight to get it on. It was super hard. Um, the fabric is made to fit very tightly and then expand slowly over time and stretch over the frame. And that's what it's going to do. Right now I've got it kind of out in the sun so that it will do that and hopefully I can make some fine adjustments. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and go show you guys kind of how it went on and we'll take a look and I'll show you some spots that I thought were really difficult to get on and hopefully some spots that will kind of correct themselves with a little bit of stretching in time. Okay, so we're going to just look here. The back, this hasn't completely fit down like I'd like it to. There's not really a place for it to go under there I don't think I think it really just kind of sits above this ridge we're gonna play with that after it stretches a little bit in the Sun again this velcro doesn't completely line up here but it's really close overall the top really fits well it's got a good seal when you open the tailgate there's a nice like I said rubber strip here that really seals against the tailgate well so it almost punches the windows out when you close it because it traps some air Again, this one isn't completely fixed yet. We got to work on it a little bit. Um, the side went together really well. It's kind of shingled where it's got Velcro on the front leading edge here and then on the front leading edge of this. So as the rain and the wind kind of hits it, it's going to just 
roll off of it. Um, it's got a nice top here that kind of protects the zipper too, kind of keep the rain running so it doesn't get in the zippers. Uh, the front, again, it's not completely on. I'm gonna work on that a little bit still. It's kind of giving us some fits, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll get it there. Um, overall, really happy with the top. It's super nice. I'm glad that I got the black diamond fabric because it kind of matches the texture of the hard top. Uh, I think if you had the soft top or had the Sunrider top in the twill, you'd be better off to get the twill fabric, but since I don't, and I'm not gonna run that ever, um, this fabric I think matches, like I said, the, the hard top better, and just looks like it came that way. So really, really happy with this thing. Uh, I'm anxious to get some miles on it and see kind of how it does in the field when we start using it. But overall, really, really pleased with it. It's been a week and I've had the top on. I've been going to work every day. It's rained a whole bunch this week. We've had thunderstorms basically every day of the week with the exception of today, kind of moving into the weekend. Um, the top has done great. It's not had any trouble. Uh, it's kept all the water out. I did get a little bit of water intrusion uh, the first storm, kind of the first day I had it on, but I was able to readjust the top and kind of get a little bit better seal and I uh, was able to get uh, all the water to stay out despite high winds and a whole whole bunch of rain um, driving it's great i can see out of the back it is a tinted back kind of window uh, that's that plastic but you can't see through it really well it works well at night you can see headlights through it just fine uh, i think it would be difficult to back up with it if i didn't have the aid of a backup camera so that really does seem to help i tend to look through the mirrors a little bit more uh, just because it's so dark and kind of hard to see through uh, for backing up but uh, overall very pleased with the product I think it's going to serve me well and I think it's going to do exactly what I want it to do and it doesn't weigh that much so it didn't put a whole lot of weight on the back of the Jeep and uh, basically you can't tell it's there at all and uh, we're going to add a few more things which are going to add a little bit more weight overall to the bed and I was really interested in keeping that to a minimum so this fit the bill so if you like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. It sure does help us out a whole lot. And I'm Landon, and we hope to see you out there on Order of the Traveling Hats.